Today we're gonna to be making an insect out of clay. You're gonna start off with a lump of clay and you need to tear off a tiny piece for the head. Now you don't want it to be too tiny. I like to sort of hold my pieces together and see if I like the ratio of how big the body is compared to the head. There, I think that looks about right. Now I'm gonna set the head to the side and I'm gonna work with the body first. The body is going to be made out of a pinch pot. So the first step of making a pinch pot is you have to roll your clay into a ball. Now the more time you take to make your ball nice and even without cracks, then the more successful your pinch pot will be. So I'm just using the table and my hand to smooth out any cracks that I see. And then I can kind of squeeze it with my fingers into a more perfect ball shape. Now, even if your ball shape is not perfect, that's okay because insects come from nature and they're probably not perfect shapes anyway. They might be a little more oval or whatever. So the next step of making our pinch pot is we're going to put our thumb into the ball. So I'm just gonna hold the ball in one hand and use my strong thumb to push about halfway through. You don't wanna push all the way through to the other side, obviously. Now, once your thumb has made that little hole, I'm going to get my pinching finger and thumb and I'm going to start pinching around the edge of my pinch pot, just very gently. We don't need this pinch pot to be super deep. We don't need that hole to be very big because really what we're concerned about is the outside of the pot. This is gonna create the body of our bug. So I'm just gonna keep on shaping it, working underneath and on top until my body shape is a nice round 3D shape that I like. Okay, so I think I finished smoothing out all the cracks on the body. I've kind of mushed it around with my fingers a little bit until it's in a shape that I like. Now it's time to start working on the head. I'm just gonna set the body to the side. Now I'm gonna tear off a little teeny tiny piece from the head and I'm gonna save this later on to make eyeballs. You don't have to do this step, but if you want to add some three dimensional objects to the head or body, you'll have to save a little bit of your clay. Now with the rest of it, I'm going to shape it into a round sphere type of form again. I'm gonna roll it on the table until I get a head shape that I like. Once again, we're not really going for a perfect sphere because that doesn't really matter in nature. You just wanna shape it into a head shape that you think will be good for your bug. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit more unusually shaped on purpose. So it's definitely not perfect. There, I kind of gave him like a little pointier nose. All right, now, if I just stick the head onto the body like this, it is going to fall off because when the clay dries, it will no longer be sticky. So whenever I'm attaching two pieces of clay, what I need to do is slip and score. So I'm gonna take my pointy clay tool and I'm going to scratch or score up the part of the clay that's going to stick onto the body. I'm just tearing it up really, really good. So it looks very messy. And then wherever I'm going to stick the head on, I'm going to do the same thing. Just score it up really good and messy. Then I'm gonna add a few drops of water to each side, not too much. And then I'm going to gently kind of press and wiggle those two pieces together that will make your clay pieces stick. Don't forget to do your slipping and scoring, otherwise your head will fall apart from the body. Now I'm going to create any other extra details that I want to add to my bug, such as eyes or anything else. This is another really good time to create textures and designs on the body of your bug. So I'm gonna use some of my clay tools to sort of press in and make some textures. So I'm drawing a line down the back to make him have separate wings. 
And then I can use some other clay tools to press in and make different patterns and designs. How you design your bug is going to be up to you. Now that I have all the details of my bug complete, the last step is adding legs and antenna. So we're gonna be using nails for this. And basically what we're gonna be doing is sticking three legs on each side of the bottom of our pinch pot since insects always have a total of six legs. Now the tricky part about this is you're gonna to have to make sure that your bug balances when you set him down on the table with his legs. So I like to make sure that I put two legs towards the front because the head part is pretty heavy. So you're gonna have to really make sure you get legs close to the front. Then I put two others in the middle and two in the back. I do try to spread the legs out like this. That way the weight is going to be evenly distributed. If you put your legs all really close together, it's not gonna balance as well. Now I'm gonna very carefully flip it over and see how he stands. And if he stands up, he's good. It's even okay if not all the legs touch the ground, as long as he's not tipping over, then it's fine. Once you've got your legs figured out, the antenna are much easier. You can just stick these right in the top of his little head, just like so. When your bug is balanced, and can stand up on his own on the table without tipping over, then your clay project is complete.